and not just black males, everybody, but black males in particular. When you don't take care of yourself, you can't take care of anybody else. That's true. And emotionally, um, I was done. I couldn't take on any more emotional impact. Thirty. Losing my vision. Well, actually, thirty-two. Thirty. Losing my toe. Still with me. Thirty-two, thirty-three. Losing my vision. And all throughout my thirties, going through, this, going through the process of the suicidal thoughts to actually almost, not almost, but trying to commit suicide. To um, being in a marriage that I thought would, would, would uh, sustain time and for different reasons, we decided to continue to be parents and continue to um, be friends, but the marriage had died. So um, I decided to uh, figure out a way to move. Baltimore had become um, a toxic place for me. So you made me move away? Move away. Okay. I, I, I got an opportunity through Shelby County Public School System in Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, you know, I shot my resume around uh, LinkedIn, LinkedIn uh, principals contacted me. And so I had two jobs on the table at the time, uh, Memphis, Tennessee and China. Okay. Okay. Math positions. Both contracts, very lucrative, everything. And so at the time, I was going through um, the last increments and in inclination of this um, foot. Uh, I had a shoe cast. And so my doctor at the time, he didn't trust me traveling too far away. Okay, so, so that took the China off the tape. Took China off the tape. And as he said, you can make the decision, but I'm saying from a professional and personal perspective, I'm saying no. Okay. So I trusted this instant. Best thing I could ever did. <coughs> okay. Um, took myself to uh, Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, started teaching, great contract. And in the midst of all of that, I'm now still dealing with um, being separated, being on my own, um, going back to um, figuring out the mental and the spiritual piece, being away from my family, but yet to still keeping uh, myself in the front line of the, in the perspective of I gotta keep it wrong. Okay. So uh, I did, I had a great therapist here in the city. Um, I went through a stint um, just before I left where I had a breakdown. And within the breakdown, I didn't realize again how much I was holding on to and had masked okay. everything. Now everything is coming through the forefront. Yeah. Your marriage, your, you know, your, uh, your marriage failed. Um, uh, education, you got, you got in trouble at work. Um, you know, you put a pause on um, father. You know, you, you know, now I'm depressed. So the depression and everything came back. Yeah, it came back. But this time it probably was even worse. Yeah, it was much worse. Um, so I spent some time. I went back to the place that actually helped me to get myself together, uh, which was Shepherd Pratt in yeah. Ellicott City. Um, I decided for not to wait for somebody else to put me in. I put myself in. So I went um, out there in Towson. Uh, my mother at the time had a good friend. Um, counselor, if you want to go talk to her, I went and talked to her, she said I can help her, I have a bid for you today, what do you want to do, I'm ready to go. Uh, I had to take a lot of <clears throat> I was ready to go, because I think, I, I was, I was, I was, I never wanted to get back to that place of suicidal thoughts and actually going through with it, and I was getting there. Okay. Um, best friend, had just, my best friend and brother had just gotten married that weekend, uh, of course, you know, big celebration, we all drinking, having a good time. That Sunday uh, was just like, we got right that Saturday. That Sunday was a downpour. That Monday, I'm with you. So that was an emotional world to world. Watching somebody else go through what they're going through, you going through what you're going through. And, and mind you, not talking to anybody about anything. So you weren't knowing the things that had helped you in the past. No, I had stopped. And all of the things that you had learned that, that could help you get through, you had stopped all I had stopped. 
that's a, I'm glad you mentioned that because I know some people who, who suffer from different uh, types of issues, health, mental health. And it seems that sometimes people get to a point where they feel like, um, although I've done all of these different things that help me get to this point, medication, therapy, whatever, they get to a point where they say, I'm good, I don't need that anymore. Why, why do you think that? Um, because we, we, we feel like um, um, the dependency. Remove yourself from the situation. And when I say remove yourself, remove your personal perspective. And you have to get to a place of minding your business, even about yourself. And you have to pick and choose, or just pick and say, I want to live. I want to be better. These, when I'm in this dark place, this sunken, sinking hole, where I don't want to shave, and I don't want to look nice, and I don't want to feel good about myself, and I don't want to love myself, because that affects other people that love you. You have to get to a place of loving yourself again. You get to a place of loving yourself again. Other people will start to say, I can now again emotionally put myself in his hands and he's going to take care of me because he's taking care of himself again. Right. People so, can't point to you. They can't point to me. Right. Because now, because I got this brick wall. Right, right. Stop. I can't. I don't. Well, let me hug you. I'm good. Okay. Right now. So, do you have any. Do you have any advice or anything you'd like to say to anybody? Right. Therapy. Go. <laughs> therapy, therapy, therapy. Um, if you not, are not a person who takes uh, who want to be dependent on a man to help you, um, they have different types of, I mean, there's so much out here now. They have therapy groups. They have individual counseling. Um, they have uh, shop therapy. They have yoga, I mean, just different things to just to take your mind um, away from your everyday rip and run and uh, just boom, 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 struggle, struggle all day long. Um, spiritually, pray. Uh, physically, run. I'm 41. As an educator, I have parents and different people who come when they meet me and they say, how old are you? I'm 41. 40 what? Where? I run. Believe it or not. Yeah. These feet go. <laughs> Sometimes I gotta give myself a break with the foot. But other than that, I run, I exercise a lot. Um, diet. Totally. Um, so important, man. So important, man. So, the misconception about the diabetes is that I can't have sugar at all. No. You have to learn how to um, take everything in doses. Moderation. Moderation is super key. Okay. Um, green veggies, um, water, more water, but put a cap on the water. What people don't know is you can consume too much water, you sleep, you drown. And I'm, trust me when I say, it. I oh, all the time. Water, 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 water. I had to cut it out a little bit. Um, green tea is good. Um, soda, if it's necessary. If it's not, let it go. Um, I'm not a fan of soda. Yeah. Read your labels. Ingredients. Ingredients and labels are key. Okay. Um, and for me. Uh, in closing out, I have a circle. Check in with for different reasons in different areas of my life. And so that was key. And even until today, my circle, some have dropped off, but they still have a place. And some have are still there. And for my circle, the original crew is still there. So when you say circle, it's not like I've heard people say like a Circle of trust type of thing. Circle of trust, circle of support. Circle of support. Um, and people who, um, so I have somebody who helps with finance. I have somebody who helps me and tells me, hey man, um, you you messing up. Gotcha. You that person that can pull you up. Yeah, pull my car. Yeah. Um, and this person has been around me my entire life. Um, so they know uh, when I'm struggling. Or they check in. Um, and then I have two other people three other people who, uh, the two people, they had people that were connected to them and within their wives. So their wives not only support them, they also support me. Okay. 
as their brother. So that circle, um, I've added on to you, and they're working out. Okay. So you recommend that for people out there that may be in support a similar, similar situation yeah. like that, to get a, 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 a support group a support to help them go through. Yep. Wow, that's great. It's been a, um, my pleasure talking to you today. I really appreciate your uh, candor and your honesty. And uh, you definitely uh, somebody with this is be great. So, yes, sir. I just want to um, thank you for coming out. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.